continue with the previous video in this video you are going to learn construction and working of the given furnaces in your syllabus you are having the two furnaces one is blast furnace and other is the muffler furnace depending on heat produced in that furnace let us proceed further so types of furnaces furnaces are broadly classified into two types depending on mode of generating heat so there are the two types one is combustion type and another is electric type in combustion type name itself indicate heat is generated by the combustion combustion of some fuel like coke coal that furnace is called the combustion type furnace and in electric furnace heating is done by electrically heating elements so muffle furnace is the example of electric type furnace and in combustion type heat is generated by heating the coke example of combustion type is the blast furnace so blast furnace see the construction of blast furnace this is the blast furnace this upper part of blast furnace it is called the throat middle is the body and this bottom part it is called the hearth this hearth it is having the two opening one is at the top from where slag is removed and from the bottom molten metal is removed here you can see the charging floor through this charging floor charge is allowed to enter inside this upper part which is called throat it is provided with double cup and cone arrangement why it is provided with the double cup and cone arrangement that is to prevent the heat losses from the blast furnace to outside now above the hearth there are the number of pipelines through which hot air is taken inside which is called wires so these wires hot air is blown inside now this blast furnace which type of furnace it is it is combustion type or electric type here you are using the coke as a reducing agent as well as fuel so blast furnace is the example of combustion type furnace see its construction the height of this blast furnace is near about 20 to 30 meter high and 4 to 8 meter wide at widest part it is known as the bosch divided it is that blast furnace it is divided into four part upper is the throat middle is the body this is the bosch and this bottom part it is called the hearth the top of the furnace already i said here it is provided with the double cup and cone arrangement to prevent escaping out gases from the furnace near the top there is an outlet for escaping out gases from the furnace now at about 2.5 meter above the base of furnace there is a series of pipelines through which hot blast is blown inside it is called the wires and at the base this part it is called the well of blast furnace or it is also called the hearth lower outlet for the here see the lower outlet for the removal of molten metal and upper outlet for the slag now second type of furnace that is muffle furnace or it is also called the retort furnace 
see the images of muffled furnace already in our lab muffled furnace is there this is the temperature controlling or stabilizer is here safety door is here and inside it it looks like this so see its construction a vented heated chamber is there temperature controller at the top a safety door switch for operator safety advantages of that muffled furnace more consistent product properties faster heating rate more stable operating condition and less fuel consumption is there as compared to the combustion type of furnace now continue with the next bit of this chapter the metallurgy of iron in your syllabus you are having the metallurgy of iron and metallurgy of copper so now we are going to see the metallurgy of iron see the title extraction of iron from hematite ore so here we are going to extract iron metal from hematite ore hematite formula of hematite is fe2o3 is an oxide ore of iron which contain 70% of iron in mcq the question is asked hematite consist of dash dash percentage of iron so it consist of 70% of iron now before to proceed we will see the various steps which is involved in the extraction of metal from its ore first of all ore from where we are getting the ore from mines ore is obtained it is in the form of big lump so first it is sent to the crushing in crushing it is done by the jaw crusher ball crusher so jaw crusher first it is crushed into the stone size then it is sent to the stamping mill and finally it is sent to the ball mill to get the fine pulverized powder pulverized means powder only so this fine powdered ore is obtained from the crushing process now after crushing next process is the concentration so what is concentration concentration means what apan concentrate karto manje kay karto aplyala kay karaycha met aplyala ore cha percentage vadvaycha ani ji kai impurity ahe gang ahe te remove karaycha so the removal of gang or matrix from the ore it is called the concentration tar he je concentration asto te concentration don method na kela jata one is physical concentration method and another is the chemical concentration method physical concentration it is done by gravity separation electromagnetic separation and float flotation method whereas chemical concentration is done by the calcination and roasting so these are the methods of concentration next after concentration next step is reduction so reduction whatever the metal oxide which is obtained from the concentration process that metal oxide it is reduced into the metallic state it is called the reduction and this reduction it is carried out by the smelting aluminothermic process and electrolytic electrolytic reduction or electrolysis also and after reduction last step is the refining and that refining it is done by the pouring and electro refining and at last you are going to get the pure metal so these are the various steps involved in the extraction of metal next so we will see one by one in uh, detail crushing already i said to you or it is in the form of big lump so it is crushed by using jaw crusher 
first then by sent to the stamping mill and finally it is ground in ball mill to get the fine powder next concentration concentration it is nothing but the removal of gang from its ore it is called the concentration concentration he don prakare kele jata physical method ani chemical method physical method madhe gravity separation electromagnetic separation and froth flotation so first we are going to start the physical method of concentration that is the gravity separation method या मेथड मध्ये जर बघाल तर काय केलं असतं इथे इन्क्लाइन स्लोप लाइक स्ट्रक्चर इज देअर व्हिच इज हॅव्हिंग द डिप्रेशन ऍट सर्टन इंटरवल असं एक तिथे स्लोप दिसतोय तुम्हाला या स्लोपला डिप्रेशन असतात म्हणजे खळगे खाच खड्डे असतात आणि इथे जे तुमचं फाईन पावडर्ड ओर जे आहे ते वॉटर बरोबर इथून वरून पास केलं जातं आणि मग जे काही आहे हेवी ओर पार्टिकल ते या डिप्रेशन मध्ये सेटल होत असतात तर जे काही अर्धी रॉकी इम्प्युरिटीज असतात दे आर गोईंग टू वॉश डवे दॅट वॉश डवे विथ दी वॉटर नाव सी द प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ धिस मेथड द प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ धिस मेथड इज बेस्ड ऑन डिफरन्स इन वेट ऑफ हेवियर ओवर पार्टिकल्स अँड लाईटर गँग पार्टिकल सो लक्षात ठेवायचं हा ग्रॅव्हिटी सेपरेशन ग्रॅव्हिटी ग्रॅव्हिटी मीन्स इट इज रिलेटेड टू दी वेट सो द प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ धिस मेथड इज बेस्ड ऑन द डिफरन्स इन वेट म्हणजे हे ओर पार्टिकल्स हे हेवी असतात त्यामुळे ते डिप्रेशन मध्ये सेटल होतात तर गँग पार्टिकल्स जे लाईटर असतात दे आर गोईंग टू वॉश द वे विथ दी वॉटर ओके सी अगेन इट कन्सिस्ट ऑफ स्लोपिंग प्लॅटफॉर्म having depressions at certain interval finally powdered ore is placed at the top jasa magacha figure madhe apan bagitla the top la powdered ore thevli jate and it is washed with the running stream of water heavier particles are settled in the depression and lighter gang particles are washed away with the water stream this gravity separation method it is mostly used for the concentration of oxide ores like hematite bauxite okay so we will stop here in this video in next video we will discuss the next physical concentration method that is electromagnetic separation and froth flotation method